NHS. We've got 70 events around the country. The campaign is threefold anti privatisation and a publicly owned NHS as well as a publicly funded NHS. Emergency funding, we're asking for £20 billion, a drop in the ocean when you consider the £37 billion wasted on a track and trace service that completely failed. And staff pay, we've got a measly 3% pay rise. Going through the pandemic, I've seen so many young occupational therapists and physiotherapists dealing with unprecedented death, being so frightened, witnessing such extreme emotion. Many have experienced post-traumatic stress because of what they've witnessed on the wards and on ITU. Sickness levels are really high and many feel like they've got nothing left to give. Burnout is such a sad thing to see in a team of people in their 20s who are new to the NHS. Burnout is a very sad thing to see in the older workforce. We see people simply retiring as soon as they're able. My colleagues, our wonderful cleaners, our porters, our caterers don't feel like they belong and they should belong and they should all be part of our NHS and treated exactly the same. Security guards here at GOSH are spearheading the longest security guard strike in the history of the NHS, supported by United Voices of the World and we're here to show solidarity to them. I got a 20% pay rise back in 88. There is always money in the system and we have to push to get it. A brilliant young nurse recently got a promotion on one of my wards, recognising her talents and skills. But she's leaving already to become an agency nurse. She said she just can't take it anymore. She doesn't feel valued and she's furious about how much more money agency staff are paid compared to people directly employed by the NHS. And this is being replicated across the country. People leaving because they're exhausted, they're sick, they're angry, they're overworked. If there's money for war, there has to be money for the NHS. Don't spend money on war and death. Spend it on the NHS.